Sully blasts Boeing and FAA is too cozy. Boeing A few minutes after takeoff on March 10, 2019, only five months after Lion Air Flight 610 crashed soon after takeoff on October 29, 2018. Investigators have, as more details emerge about the two crashes, Boeing and the FAA have come under fire for the approval process. Much of the controversy, the crew of the Lion Air flight may not have been aware that the system was apparently the cause of their flight control problems. Ruter Saraville, Sullenberger, in his op-ed, placed the blame at Boeing's feet for the lack of communication and training of pilots. Boeing The retired airline captain also criticized Boeing's response to the Lion Air crash, pointing out that a new software fix designed to avert automatic MCAS takeover has not been implemented even five months after the first crash, and that Boeing CEOs personally lobbied President Trump to keep the 737 MAX in flying in U.S. airspace before the White House finally ordered the planes the last week. Eh? Sullenberger directed some criticism at the FAA as well, noting that the agency has been underfunded for years and inadequately staffed to properly conduct its role of overseeing aircraft certification. As aircraft man this. Ultimately, Sullenberger stated that any resolution will lie with Congress and the White House, who have power over the federal budget to increase the FAS resources to improve oversight during the certification process. Let Raindrop trip, drop top, top smoking, no cooking the hot pot. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park pot.